it's the 10 years event of the Squirly company and in this panel we have the website analysis plugin. Now the best part is that this is the ultimate edition of our website analysis plugin that you can still get from some of our events. If you engage inside of our communities then you might get a chance to get the ultimate version of the website analysis plugin. So we've uh, in my presentation for gifts you can try and get your rerun for that. Um, I have explained and I have to told uh, more about the website analysis plugin and the ultimate version and how we gave it to different entrepreneurs uh, over this year. And it is that we have this page on our website where you can get more details about the ultimate version of the website analysis plugin. Right, so this is a premium product that we don't sell, we only give it to special members. Right, so Brian Dean liked the website analysis features of this plugin. Website analysis, the ultimate edition, you just install it and you're in. It automatically starts analyzing your website and deliver powerful insights. Uh, it's designed for WordPress, it helps website owners keep track of their SEO performance and safeguards them against all types of SEO problems that can occur. And it has a long history and it's been used on thousands of WordPress sites. So you can choose from item versus table display. Some of you will like the item display that's more beautiful. And some of you will like the table display because you can get easier access to some of the information inside. So you can choose how you want it. And here you'll see on the page that you can choose uh, which stats you want to find for everything that's inside the website analysis plugin. Now you will know lots of details. And for example, if you see here that these pages are looking weird, I mean, this image is weird. It's because the open graph wasn't set up properly um, inside the website where my colleagues uh, took these uh, screenshots. So that's one of the cool things because in the items view, you can even you can easily see your content that has problems with the media files and with the settings for open graph. You can see social sharing previews and learn about all SEO errors in one tool. So you can see some of the stuff that it checks for. You can find other ideas and things. You can find them right here uh, inside this page. So you can go from the Squirrel, the Squirly store for entrepreneurs from our homepage from squirly.co. You can go all the way here to the website analysis plugin. And then you should click to take me there so that you see what we've done in 2022 uh, because this was the older version of the plugin and it's not the ultimate edition it was just the basic edition of the plugin so you can go and take me there and that's how you can reach from the home page you can reach the page for the ultimate edition of website analysis and get the information to help you set up everything inside the plugin now i wanted to let you know that we've actually because we gave it to different entrepreneurs in our community they've offered us their feedback so it was really cool because that helped us improve right now uh, you can download the version 2.0.3 and then make an update so that you reach 2.0.4 that that's very important if you got the plugin you should definitely update it because we've done many improvements um, over November this year as well now we've done lots of fixes to the credit section uh, inside the plugin and we've improved the limit from 60 pages on the ultimate edition to 500 pages and the cool thing is you can now add more post types to the website analysis plugin because in the past and how we've envisioned it initially it was just for blog posts so now at the request of many members from our audience have different event pages or e-commerce products or they have just services pages and landing pages on their sites they wanted to know more about this and they wanted to use the plugin so we've switched from purely blog posts to all the to all types of post types so you can see more and now you have 500 pages inside of it. We've done other bug fixes and we've improved the connections to our cloud services. Um, this type of cloud services that we use in the website analysis plugin is different from what we use inside Squirly SEO and it's um, a couple of different other technologies that we are currently testing. So sometimes we have issues but we always work hard to fix them and we're trying this new type of connection to the cloud services because as always we're innovating and we're trying to find out more ways to better serve our audiences 
but in case something appears, you can always reach out to our support channels. You can see Peter's presentation on getting customer service from Squirrely, and there you will learn all the ways in which you can get support from us, and we will easily help you fix uh, the problems with the connection to the cloud services if such a problem will arrive. Right, so that's about it with the updates for the Ultimate Website Analysis plugin. And I mean, I know that this sounds as a very small thing, but it actually involved a lot of things to get all of this set up and to make all of these changes due to the way that the first website analysis plugin was built. We've had to do lots of things to make it work in this other way. And it seems like a simple thing, but it's actually not in the back end. Right, and now we have this, I can go to, so this is the demo site that I created for my presentation on automating your SEO. And I've told you more about the theme that I installed and that theme has published its own content inside. So we imported a lot of demo content uh, to, make, to make the presentation for automating your SEO. And now because we have the test website made on tastewp.com and we also have, um, have started show, sh showing it to you and we've imported the demo content, it makes sense to show you the website analysis plugin on this one as well. So let's go to website analysis. <coughs> you can see that it already has some of my things right here. And as you can see, this one has no image, no image and no image. These other things, they have the image. And let's see, so there's no keyword. It's not optimized for any keyword. This is part of the description. And if you let it hover, then you will find out exactly what the whole description is. So you can easily take a look to see if the descriptions make sense. Some of these definitely don't because it's demo content. The keyword isn't used in the title. There's no keyword. Uh, this one is optimized for ABS uh, has become. Basically, that's the most repeated thing. And that's basically the keyword of this content right here. And you can see that the keyword is used in the title, which is true because ABS has become is used here. So we use our proprietary technologies from content look to identify the optimization. So in Squirrely SEO, you say that uh, this is optimized for this keyword and then Squirrely calculates your optimization for the SEO content and for the search relevance of the text and the images inside. But with content look and the website analysis plugin, Actually, we don't need your input on the main keywords because we just go crawl and identify what the main keywords are. And the cool thing about this is that this is basically the way that Google does it. So Google also doesn't know what you wanted as your main focus keyword. So if you have something weird in your content like ABS has become, then that means that you should go and try and fix this content. It shouldn't be optimized for this keyword. This is not a keyword that you should have inside the content because this is not something good that people are going to search on a search engine. So it really doesn't make sense. And basically if right now this was, this were my website, I would just go and I would change the content from this page because this is not a good keyword. So these are some of the ways in which you can start using it already. And you can see more here. So this one is optimized for much about car. I'll blow straight past your headlights. So these are really not good keywords. Um, definitely needs, needs fixing. This process is also not a good keyword. The other things aren't optimized. So that's, uh, there's a lot of SEO work that you should be doing here. You see these, these pages, they don't even have description. There's no description on these pages, nothing at all. So they aren't good for SEO. And by checking this out, you can easily find this information. Now I can go to content. I can go to SEO duplicate open graph. No, it doesn't have duplicate Twitter card. Well, at least, at least that's good, but it also doesn't have gzip. So that's something that we should fix to make sure that this site will load faster and advanced. You can try content look. So this is one of the ideas and you will go with the referral link. You will go into content look, uh, right? So this is the content. And now you can also choose to see the table view and see how many entries you want to see and search for something if you want. And you can check uh, the descriptions and you can easily see that these many pages, they have no description. These other ones have no keyword in the title. These have no gzip. So it gets you a very quick view uh, into many of the problems on your website.
so if you look at this let's see these are keywords these are other keywords that it identified these are also not good keywords not good keywords so there's really a lot that you should be fixing inside this website to make it work and it's a very great way to analyze your content and you can go and you can see more so you can switch from uh, the table view to the items view and choose the one you like the most some people are very visual but sometimes you may find easier to identify things in there if they are in this form because you can easily see pages with no for example or with, with weird keywords you can easily see the keywords here and you can go to settings and in settings you need three stats on everything that we have inside so there's going to be only three stats for everything that you want to check out using the website analysis plugin so for example if it's gzip and i want to switch to meta open graph then i have to close gzip and select the other one if i don't want to look for open graph maybe i want to look for does it have a twitter card and maybe instead of a twitter card maybe i'll look for a duplicate description and i will save the setting and you can find out more about the others on the official page. That's why I gave you the link to this page uh, at the beginning of the presentation. Then in content, maybe we don't need to see more about keywords in the title. Maybe you want to see if it's SEO friendly and the SEO optimization score. So let's save the settings and let's go to the posts. And now we see that they changed. So it changed to SEO friendly, SEO optimization score 26. This one is 52 for a bad keyword. So that's not helpful. If I switch to SEO, you see that it made the uh, changes and you can see explanations. Yeah, you can see them on my video as well. So you can see the explanations for everything by going over the eyes right here. And then you can also do the table view and switch for SEO optimization score. See, so you can see the ones with the biggest optimization scores by using this function of the table. So these have the biggest optimizations, but the keywords aren't really great. So there's a lot of ways in which you can view your content and learn more about how your websites are doing by using the ultimate version of the website analysis plugin. Uh, I hope you like the updates that we've made. Uh, tell us more about how you feel about us. And I hope that many of you who have joined us today have already received their ultimate version of the website analysis plugin. And thank you very much for watching this panel.